Living at this Fondren home her whole life hasn't been easy for Jenny Wilson, especially in the past few years. After last week's storms, a tree fell onto her home and it's only caused more struggle. We were hard workers and we were just trying to go home and do the best we could and we've tried to never we've tried to never ask people for help but yet hopefully help people where we could. It's real hard to be on the opposite end of things. Jenny and her daughter Arian are well known around the Fondren community. Her husband passed away in 2019, but soon after COVID hit, she lost her thriving doggy daycare business. And now, while she was just so close to getting back up on her feet following the pandemic, she feels as if she's back to square one. And I was about getting to the point where, you know, I was making a little bit, my credit score had gone back up, and I, um, I ironically had just looked into getting insurance again. I needed 900 for the down payment. I had 700 because I just paid property taxes. And the check that was going to give me the other 200 dropped the same day the tree did. Even with the damages, Jenny says she couldn't fathom leaving behind her Jackson home. I feel like in a time period that we're in, if you sell a family home like this, some big company, some big property management company, is going to come in and they don't live here. They don't live with us. They're not our people a lot of times. I kind of hate to have another house go that direction. The community has pulled through. Friends in Fondren, including Terry Sullivan, the general manager of Fondren Fitness, where the Wilsons have a membership with the general purpose to shower and use water. Well, he found someone that will help put a tarp up prior to the weather this weekend. I'm trying to do what I can to help them out, but I would encourage anyone else out there uh, to help out anyone any way you can. As part of our community here in Jackson, we need to, to band together and help out each other. But that's not all. Just as a lot of people don't know, Jenny was in the same boat when it came to finding resources like Red Cross. I haven't because I didn't know, I kind of didn't know where to look. The American Red Cross following the Metro storms last week set up a resource service center at Lake Elementary School that's open until Friday from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. As the Red Cross, we aspire to be the people that can help you in your community rapidly. 